Hey friend, um, I was kind of tripping on the idea of accountability and the group that I go to, the group, my home group that I'm part of, um, and the relationships that I build in there with those people are so crucial at the centerpiece of what I call my program because of the accountability that's there. It's like, I really care about these people. I've developed relationships with them over time and I've shared enough of myself and they've shared enough of themselves and we know each other in a way that it, it's different than just a cursory sort of surface relationship that you have with somebody. And I root for them. You know, I really, really want them to do well. And when they go back out, it really is painful for me. And But at the same time, I think it's painful because I know what will happen for me if I go back out. You know, I was doing, um, I, I do the homeschool with the kids and we were doing in physics, the idea of thought experiments. And we were, I was like, Hey, what if you wanted to do an experiment, but you couldn't do it? Uh, you'd have to do a thought. You just had to think about it. And, um, what my oldest said to me was, well, if it's in space, you could just use a vacuum tube. And I was like, okay, well, what if it's an experiment with time or something and the speed of light? And he had some objection for that. So I said to him, okay, here's a thought experiment. What if I go get, what if I go buy some beer? And immediately without missing a beat, he's like, oh, you'll go to jail. And I was like, see, that's a thought experiment. We didn't have to actually do the experiment to see the results that came in. And anyway, um, it's just... It's so important to have those people around you to make sure that you are being accountable to yourself because I really struggled doing that on my own and I need help from outside. I need um, other sources to sort of keep me in check in that way because if it's just up to me, it's kind of like I'm in charge of the production on the assembly line, but then I'm also in charge of quality control. So I think whatever I'm doing is great. And even if it's not great, I'm going to figure out some way to convince myself or talk myself into it. And I know that if I lose that accountability, if something in my head trips and I go, you know what, forget those people. They're not even that important anyway. Uh, that's my kind of all or nothing thinking that it's either like we're great friends and we're we're accountable and we're tight in that way, or else you're, you don't matter at all. Forget you. You represent the enemy to me. Uh, and I know that if I were to drink again, that I would keep drinking. And so my all or nothing brain is going to vilify all of those people that have been keeping me accountable. They're going to become the enemy. And I'm going to double down hard on the drinking and the vilifying them and the delusional, you know, insanity that um, they're not important and that I'm in control and that I can do it and I don't need those people and their opinions because they're stupid. You know, all the stuff that goes along with that. And I'm just so, I guess, thankful in the idea of a thought experiment to go, what would it be like? if I didn't have any accountability and it's real easy for my brain to figure that out. I know exactly what that's like and it's not something that I'm really very interested in.